all right what up folks what is going on this is episode 281 of the person frame rate show i am bf baller and over here we talk about georgia southern and atlanta falcons football uh another great tuesday hopefully you guys are enjoying your tuesday so far so far so good for me it is working out and so hopefully it's working out for you guys i mean it's working out for me because i'm behind the microphone once again giving you um content and hopefully you guys are enjoying uh with that being said uh i want to thank you guys for the listenership and the viewership you guys are awesome i really appreciate it um the viewership is up listenership is definitely up on the podcast side you guys are really listening to the podcast um on various uh platforms you know itunes anchor spotify um google podcast stitcher you guys are amazing. I thank you for the uptick in view. I mean, listenership this is awesome. If this is your first time here, if you're listening on uh, or watching on YouTube, if this is your preference, uh, hit the like button, share this video, also subscribe to the channel. If you are listening to the podcast side of things, give me a high rating on that star chart. Also, uh, subscribe as well because if you do subscribe, as soon as I put up a, a episode, it will show up on your feed, and in some cases, it will download for you immediately if you collect if you click that option to automatically download. One more thing I want to say before I get started with this episode because Georgia Southern with these quarterbacks are amazing. But one more thing I want to talk about is uh, real quick: if you want to support the show. If you want to support the show, a link will be down in the description. If you want to uh, donate to through Anchor, uh, there's the link down there. Also, if you want to uh, hit my Cash App, that is also on uh, Cash App, obviously, and it's VF Baller Twenty. VF Baller. 20 all the links will be down in the description if you want to um go that route to support i really really appreciate it well let's go ahead and get into this episode 281 of the first and frame rate show we're chugging right along getting towards 300 and today we're going to talk about another quarterback that clay helton and company lands for georgia southern this is this is phenomenal of what clay helton is doing i mean i thought it was a big deal when the dallas brothers i mean yeah the dallas brothers came in uh josh and david came in then you turn around you get zach roseman then you turn around and you get kyle van trees you already got cam ransom and connor sagelski you already um have uh justin tomlin i mean quincy bonner we got so many quarterbacks and we turn around and get Brooks Pangle from Greenbrier High School, which is located in Evans, Georgia, near the uh, Augusta area. Let me tell you something. Um, this kid is a walk-on. He decided to come here instead of going to Mercer, which honestly, Mercer is an up-and-coming school, and I give them a lot of credit for doing the big things in the FCS. But we end up getting... Uh, a quarterback that I think could be very special. And I know I said this a lot about all the other quarterbacks that we have, but I was looking at some of the tape, which I will show some of the tape on here shortly. Uh, he looks pretty good. Like all the quarterbacks that we have um, so far, they, they have their highlights. They have their really good moments. And like I said, you have a David Dallas. I think it's David is the quarterback. David Dallas, he's a gunslinger. He can throw the ball all over the place. Uh, Zach Roseman is another one. A little more pinpoint accuracy with his throws, more his mechanics are more traditional. He can throw the ball over the place. Kyle Van Trees, he's a proven winner, and he was able to win at Buffalo. He can throw the ball very, very well. Cam Ransom, very, very good at throwing the deep ball, and he can move as well. And uh, we got Connor Sigelski, very poised quarterback that can move around. Justin Tomlin, dual threat. I mean, we got some really good quarterbacks here. And for him, uh, Brooks Pango decide to come to Georgia Southern is very, very interesting. Um, I don't know what in the world uh, Coach Clay Hilton is doing, but he is getting really good talent here in the Statesboro area. Well, I'm not in Statesboro, but you know what I mean, in the Statesboro area. And not just a quarterback, but – everything else around the football team just talent and i'm not just talking about players you're talking about the coaches you're talking about the staff i mean this is a really big deal with this program the turnaround that has happened we thought everything was falling after a three and nine season but you turn around and you get these type of players and you still after all this can get a quarterback 
like this guy. Now, I want to talk about a little bit of stats before I give you some highlights of what he's done. Um, right now, uh, I'm going to look at what he's done in the 2021 alone. 2021, he had a 60% completion um, uh, percentage, and he threw 21 touchdowns to one interception. I'm going to say that again. 60% completion rating, 21 touchdowns, one interception. That is phenomenal for a, a kid like this. This is something that's really, really – I, I, I don't follow too many stats in high school like that. I think the last person I really followed stats on was Jalen White, our running back at Georgia Southern, because his stats was, like, off the charts. But when you see a guy like Brooks Pango, and I looked at the stats, I'm like, okay – this looks good. I'm I'm actually interested. So when you look at the rest of his entire uh the, his body of work for the most part, two seasons as a starter. All right, I mean, I mean listen to this. Two seasons as a starter, he passed for five thousand six hundred ninety two yards, fifty two touchdowns, eleven interceptions in two seasons, and he had four rushing touchdowns. So these numbers and the way that the, from what I see, the way that he played, he I'm 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 really shocked. I'm really shocked that he only got uh I ain't gonna say he got just the only offers at Mercer, but it just seemed like between Mercer and Georgia Southern was like the only two places he was gonna end up going, and he decided to come to Georgia Southern. I'm very shocked that nobody really looked at him like this and um I'm like really impressed. You know, I'm impressed at what he does and I'm impressed at the way he plays. This is really cool to see that him the is going to be a, a Georgia Southern Eagle. He's walking on and there's no doubt. I think he'll end up making the team. Um quarterback competition is going to be fierce. Excuse me. Quarterback competition is going to be very fierce because like I said, we have a lot of quarterbacks. When you look at well, the ones I named Van Trees, Ransom, Sigelski, Dallas, um, Tomlin, Bonner, Ransom. I think I said Ransom, but yeah, Ransom. But we got so many quarterbacks. Roseman. <laughs> so we got so many quarterbacks. It's going to be really interesting to see what happens here. But when I told you these numbers, these numbers like jump out at you. Now I want to. I want to play this this clip real quick. This is from his uh, Twitter feed. Shout out to Brooks Pango. We're going to look at some of these highlights, and I just want to talk about what I see in real time so you guys can uh, really uh, know what I'm talking about. Now, for you guys that are on the, the podcast side, I want to apologize. There's no visuals, obviously, on the podcast side. But um, if you do decide to come back over to the YouTube side of things, you could see this uh, quick segment of um, the, the show. So uh, let, let's get into this, and let's see what we are looking at. Uh, let's go. All right, here we go. All right, so there's him. Uh, so he, he he moves around in the pocket pretty well. Nice throw and catch. 84 yard touchdown. TD run. So he not, he actually has wheels too. Look at this. Oh, he's pretty fast. Okay, so he's he, he he's pretty much a dual threat, dual threat. So that same year that he ran for or that he threw, um, 50 or 21 touchdowns. In 10 interceptions, I think, he ran for 262 yards as well. And you can see that he he can run. Not only he can throw, he can run. He got some speed on him. Okay. And here's him throwing right here, right over the middle. Oh, he just put that right where it need to be. Good throw. All right, here's another one. And right over the shoulder, good throw and catch. So it's going to be another, uh, what is it, another minute of this or so? He's running the ball again. Good play right there. You know, I, I'm not going to show all this. this. This is pretty much, this, you, you kind of get the idea. I don't want to have my the podcast side of people are sitting there waiting <laughs> to, to, you know, for me to get the, 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 the move on because it's going to be so much uh, of me talking about him. So it's about a minute in. If you look at what he does, you really can see what he can do. Now, if you want to look at this video, you can go over to his uh, Twitter page, his Twitter handle. Uh, what is his Twitter handle? I want to make sure I get that right. Let me see if I get that right for you guys. His Twitter handle is Brooks underscore Pango. 
So you can go ahead and hit that uh that Twitter page, go follow him, give him a follow over there. And uh you can is is pin tweet, the first tweet at the top. You can see all of his highlights right there as soon as you hit his Twitter up. Brooks underscore pango. So uh I I don't want to hold you guys up, but I do like what I see. I mean, I am serious. It's just a pretty pretty good uh 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 body of work when it comes to the highlights. So what does this mean? For Georgia Southern, this is a really good question. What does this mean? Personally, I think Georgia Southern is going to be in good hands as far as quarterbacks for at least the next four years, no matter what happens. We're not, you know, we got Kyle Van Tree is the is the uh, is the guy right now that's going. That's the senior. I expect him to be the starter. Them, excuse me. Then you got guys like Cam Ransom who's already been here, who we all thought that he's going to be the guy that leads this team for the next four years before the whole situation with Chad Lunsford. And you know what? Shout out to Chad Lunsford. He got a, you know, he got hired as, as FAU assistant coach. That is quite awesome. It's good to see him back um into coaching. So that's great. So and with that being said. We thought he was going to be the guy for the next four years until all this happened and Coach Helton came in and Coach Helton decided, hey, let's get a bunch of quarterbacks. <laughs> so you still got David Dallas and Zach Roseman, Quincy Bonner, Justin Tomlin. You got a handful of guys that no matter what happens, somebody's going to take the reins of running this offense. And it's, it's going to be a pretty consistent level of talent for the next four years at least because all these guys are coming in most of them are freshmen you still got a you know uh, a sophomore with um uh Sigelski and ransom uh i think tomlin is still like a, a six-year senior you got Kyle van trees i think he's a six or seventh year senior you got some guys here that's going to be holding the torch for a while as far as making things happen for the georgia southern eagles um I don't, I, the way I look at it, honestly, even though Kyle Van Treese is probably going to be the starter because of his uh, experience, I would not be surprised if the competition is out there and anybody could get it. Anybody could get, um, you know, anybody could get the starting job. And with that being said, it'd be very, very interesting if a walk on like Pangle or if David, uh, I keep getting a mix up between David and Josh. I want to say it's David. If David Dallas could get this uh, starting job, Zach Roseman, uh, you know, uh, my personal favorite, Cam Ransom, you know, what if he gets the job? You know, because I've been a big fan of Cam Ransom before, you know, the, any of these guys came to the school. Um, and I do like Connor Sigelski as well. I do like Connor Sigelski. I like the way he played in the BYU game. I like the way he played a little bit against Appalachian State until, you know, the wheels fell off in that game. But the BYU game was very telling. And uh, I like the way that played out. So when we're looking at a situation here where you got all these quarterbacks, we are in very good hands when we're looking at this. I'm starting to think that Georgia Southern would have, uh, that's always been known for running back you because you had you ran the flex bone option and we had some phenomenal guys who ran the ball here at Georgia Southern for decades. You know, I mean, you know, I'm, it, it was just you you knew when you played Georgia Southern, you better learn how to tackle because we're gonna have some running backs that's gonna either run you over or run right past you. We have some quarterbacks that's gonna run right past you, and there's nothing you can do about it. Now. When we're looking at these guys, the way that Georgia Southern is structured now, there's really a new era in Georgia, Georgia Southern football. You're going to have some stand-in-the-pocket quarterbacks that could probably take off on you if you don't watch it. You know, you have some mobile quarterbacks that can sling that football. Brooks Pangle, 56, you know, 92, uh, 20, 52 touchdowns, 11 interceptions in two years. You saw what, you know, David Dallas was able to do. He was – uh uh. Uh, what was he, a uh, state player of the year in this region? You know, uh, Cal Van Treese is very decorated. You saw what he was able to do at Buffalo. Uh, Cam Ransom, even though Cam Ransom was able to do some things in Armwood, Florida, and uh, Armwood at, at his high school, he was able to do some things at Georgia Southern plenty of times when he played. I mean, you saw the game when, before he got injured against FAU, we were taking control of that game. You know, you saw when he got in the game and, he, you know, he threw a couple passes to Durham Burgess. You saw the Georgia State game. When he, when, as soon as he got in the game, the whole team just changed. 
You know, you got you saw Connor Zakowski when he was able to play because Cam Ransom and Justin Tomlin was not able to play. Uh, Zagelski came in and played very well against a top 15 team. BYU was 14 at the time. He played very well against a top 15 team. So as far as quarterbacks go, I mean, we're looking very good. We're looking very good. This now could be very well quarterback university. Just like when I I just put it in the title. Welcome to QB University. Georgia Southern gets Brooks Pangle, a very talented quarterback from Greenbrier, the Evans area, um, near the uh, Augusta area. I mean, what more can you say? Also, I want to tell you this. Brooks Pangle was the two-time offensive player of the year in Region 85A. This goes back to what I was saying about all these players that we're getting around the state of Georgia. I mean, we get, we're getting players that are players of the year in their state. I'll go back and say it again. The David Dallas's, the Mark Stampley's. I mean, you got now you got Brooks Pangle. I'm pretty sure there's a couple of them I can't even remember. You know, so when you got guys that like this who can throw the football and you got guys that have that talent like that, and then we're going to talk about one, one of these episodes, we're going to talk about the receivers where we have receivers you know, that are out here that just being recruited are some that are actually talented already. Amari Jones is, is coming back. Then you turn around and you have uh, Derwin Burgess, which was a, 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 I want, I don't want to say this in a, in a, in a bad way, but Derwin Burgess was highly underused last year and he made plays when it was need to be. He can catch the ball and he can get past some defenders, you know, so, and then you turn around and we got um, Jason Thompson coming in. Uh, oh, God, I can't even name all the other guys that we that are coming in. Um, Dalen Cobb is coming in. Uh, oh, man, I don't, I, I should, I should have just pulled this up. Let me see if I can pull up on my phone real quick. So you guys could, uh, I mean, we got, we got some guys that are coming to the school. I mean, we got some guys that are going to be here. And it, I, unfortunately, it's not on my phone right now, but um, that's unfortunate. Because I, I, I really could have told you guys all the guys that are coming. The plethora of receivers that are coming. We're going to talk about them later on in another episode. But I do remember the names like Dalen Cobb. And you got um Jason Thompson. I think it's J Jason Thompson. And uh, a few others that I talked about in the Discord. Which I highly recommend you guys check out the Discord. um The First and Frame Race Discord. Where we talk continuously talk about Georgia Southern sports. And other sports in general. But uh. We just we were just talking about it in the Discord, and we we're like, man, this team is pretty loaded. You look at the receivers, you look at these quarterbacks that's coming in, and we already was good at running back. And we saw some of the guys that they they, they recruited on the trenches uh, in the line. Uh, Christian Varna is coming in to take uh, place of C.J. Wright. Hopefully, Sean Pell kissing is on defense. Mr. Will Harris, Sean, Mr. Defensive Coordinator Will Harris, will Sean Pell Kilson be on defense? please um the safeties Derek canteen is coming back Najee thompson's coming back uh bradley glenn i mean look the the list goes on and on we have a very talented team i think the bounce back is going to be huge and it's, it's going to be a beautiful thing to see i cannot wait to see how this plays out in um the, i think it's late march march 23rd or something like that spring practice start oh man I got to find a way to get down there to see a couple of these spring practices. I'm definitely going to be at the spring game on April 23rd. So you guys, if you want to see me, want to see, uh, you know, me just come around and evaluate the team. You want to talk about the team in person. I'll be there. That'd be awesome. But um, this is a great time to be an Eagle. It's a great time. I mean, I, I can't think of one time that I remember. I mean, all this time when I was, um, I've been a Georgia Southern fan since the 80s. And I remember, you know, um, very briefly of uh, Tracy Ham, but I was really young. I really didn't watch him as much. You know, I really didn't get into watching Georgia Southern until my later, um, the later part of the 80s. And um, I used to watch him all the time. And then uh, I remember watching the, the national championship game in the 90, in 1990. But uh, then, you know, you watch, I remember vividly, I remember watching Greg Hill. Greg Hill was one of my favorite quarterbacks um, from George Southern. and uh, But you had some other ones that was here too, but most of them was like still like athletic 
style quarterbacks that ran the offense that we ran. Now we're running a more type of offense that you see in other college areas. It looks like it's going to be a more pro style offense, spread, um, spread the field, um, stretch the field, probably somewhat of an air raid type offense. Um, it's going to be really interesting to see the big turnaround, watching the blue and white throw the ball down the field. Seriously throw the ball down the field. It's going to be really interesting to see. I, I you know, and it, and it's something that I, I'm not. I don't know if I'm really prepared for because I'm not used to seeing a team like this do, do that. I mean, I was kind of nervous when I saw Cam Ransom was doing it. You know, I was nervous when I saw Shaw Words was doing it because Shaw Words used to throw that bomb over the top over App State or, or, or Georgia State. You know, um, Darian Anderson would catch it. I mean, it was a beautiful thing. Um, Masha, uh, my, uh, what is it, Mashad, Michael, I think it was Mashad, I think number 23, I can't remember his name. He he used to catch, him ball, catch the, the jump balls. It was a nervous time. So when I started watching Cam Ransom throw the ball and his first pass was a touchdown, I was like, okay, <sighs> I don't know if I get used to this, but that was great. But down the road, you start to see more of Cam Ransom throw the ball, but now you're going to see it on a different level with a different playbook and different plays. You know, uh, and it's going to be really interesting to see. I don't know how I feel about that, but I'm going to be here for it. And hopefully you guys will be here too. Um, this is, uh, it's going to be pretty cool to see. So welcome to Quarterback University. Georgia Southern is uh, unofficially, officially, or I would just say unofficial, Quarterback University. These guys are pulling quarterbacks out of every part of Georgia and across the country. You got to think about it, man. Kyle Van Trees is from Ohio, and um, you got uh, you got uh, Cam Ransom from Florida. It's like you know we got some guys, man. So it's pretty cool. So that will conclude the rest of the, the end of the show, um, episode two eighty one of the First and Frame Rate Show. Um, I want to let you guys know I really, really appreciate you guys. I want you guys to also understand that this is a one-man show. I do all the production. I do all the editing. and But I do it because I really love and I enjoy this. I'm not saying it to beat my chest or whatever, but I do have a passion for this. I've been pretty much wanting to do this all my life, to be honest with you. This is like a hobby of mine. Never thought it would be anything more than that, but right now, it is growing to something bigger than I thought it would. And it's all thanks to you guys. I really, really appreciate it. You guys are awesome. Once again, if you like this content, if you enjoyed these last 20, 22 minutes of this content, hit the like button, share this video, subscribe to the channel. Also, if you're on the podcast side and you've been loving these 22 minutes, give me a high rating on the podcast side. Also, um hit the subscribe button and if you really really enjoy this uh content you know write a review I, you know i got a review on the apple podcast side of things and i really enjoy it that was my first review and you know that's a big deal for me because at one point i didn't think this was going to be the case where i can actually do um content on uh apple and google device i thought i think it's really cool and i really really appreciate you guys um for all of the the help and uh, support uh, one more time if you want to go even further in supporting you can hit that uh, the the anchor podcast link that is down in the description of the podcast i think they do either a one-time donation or a monthly donation or also you can just go straight into my cash app which is vf baller that is definitely a one-time donation and uh either way it, every little bit helps uh, it, all it does is just keep the content flowing in the right direction and like i said it's all things is all for you guys it really is not just for me to say hey i like my teams and this no i want to give you guys the best content possible so hopefully you guys will check all that stuff out i really appreciate you guys enjoy the rest of your tuesday hopefully your week is going well i can't complain for too much on my end and i will see you guys on wednesday we'll find another topic to talk about whether it be atlanta falcons or georgia southern football either way i hope to make it entertaining for you guys to continue to hang around all right y'all y'all take it easy y'all be blessed have a good one peace